They're using it as fuel for a fire, and you're consuming piss. You're putting a camel's nasty piss out of his freaking cock into your mouth, dude. That's disgusting. And this religion is, is you think is from God? Chapter four, verse twelve. Eat the food as you would a loaf of barely bread. Bake it in the sight of the people using human excrement for fuel. Using what? Human excrement. But why? Ezekiel four, verse thirteen. The Lord said. In this way, the people of Israel will eat defiled food among the nations where I will drive them. And Ezekiel was confused and told God that he never had any impure food. Ezekiel 4 verse 14. Then I said, not so sovereign Lord. I have never defiled myself. From my youth until now, I have never eaten anything found dead or torn by wild animals. No impure meat has ever entered my mouth. So did God have mercy on his prophet and abrogated the command to use human excrement as fuel? Of course not. Ezekiel 4 verse 15. Very well, he said, I will let you bake your bread over cow dung instead of human excrement. So now it's cow dung and not human excrement. Who in his right mind believes such commands to be from God Almighty? It is very strange to claim this is from God Almighty. It doesn't make any sense. Poly it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, so this is nothing new. He stole this critique from a, from a very famous Muslim author named... Uh, Ahmed Didat. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Ahmed Didat. He passed away in like the early 2000s. Uh, he once wrote a booklet called Combat Kit. I think that's what it was called. Combat Kit. It was like multiple volumes where he attacked the Bible for supposedly using vulgarities. And this is one of the verses that he addressed. But notice how this idiot here is, is intentionally being just a dishonest dog, dude. By not clarifying that the cow dung is not being used as an ingredient in food here, but rather as fuel for the fire to cook the bread over. Like, so let's go to the verse. Like, he's making it seem like, like they're eating, right? Like they're eating cow dung. Like, dude, we don't scoop that low, dude. We're not Hindus. Uh, let's read Ezekiel 4, 9 through 17 in context. He quoted 12. Obviously, out of context, because he has to, you know, push a certain retarded. I mean, this guy's an idiot. Also, take for yourself wheat, barley, beans, lentils, millet, and spelt. Put them into one vessel and make bread of them for yourself during the number of days that you lie on your side. 390 days, you shall eat it. And your food, which you eat, shall be by weight, 20 shekels a day. From time to time, you shall eat it. You shall also drink water by measure, one sixth of a hen. From time to time, you shall drink and you shall eat it as barley cakes and bake it using fuel of human waste in their sight. So again, he's using this to fuel the fire. Then the Lord said, so shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles where I will drive them. So I said, ah, Lord God, indeed, I have never defiled myself from my youth till now. I have never eaten what died of itself or was torn by beast nor has abominable flesh ever come into my mouth then he said see i am giving you cow done instead of human waste and you shall prepare your bread over so he's just using it as fuel over a fire they're not in they're not mixing it in with right with with wheat and barley and beans and eating this like he, the, like he's intentionally being like oh look what they're doing look what they're doing but again, guys, notice the hypocrisy. Like I said earlier, these same quote-unquote objections that he's bringing towards the Bible and Christianity. But you bring these objections to the Quran and Islam as a whole, it makes Islam look stupid. Absolutely stupid. So let's go to that very same hadith that's going to make Islam look stupid. The climate of Medina did not suit some people. So the prophet ordered them to follow his shepherd, his camels, and drink their milk and urine as medicine. So they follow the shepherd that is the camels and drank their milk and urine till their bodies became healthy. By the way, you guys remember when I did, some of you guys that were in here, I did the Luther stream. 
Luther ate and drank a lot of piss and shit. Bruh. The verse that you read, like they're not consuming cow dung. They're using it as fuel for the fire. Here we have, by the way, this is Sahih. Sahih al-Bukhari. Sunnah.com. This it's hadith sahih. is not it's sahih. This is a weak it's hadith. Sahih. It's, it's sahih. not sahih. It's not sahih. It's a weak hadith, bro. Oh my God. Drinking piss, dude. You're just a step below Luther and the Hindus, dude. You're you're so close to to some of these northern Indians that that eat cow dung, dude. You're getting there, dude. There probably is some hadiths and some accounts of of Muslims eating camel dung, dude. It's just been lost, or it's just too embarrassing to translate. It's probably only in Arabic. It's halal, braza. You're consuming piss, dude. They're using it as fuel for a fire, and you're consuming piss. You're putting. A camel's nasty piss out of his freaking cock into your mouth, dude. That's disgusting. And this religion is you think is from God? Bro, help you. Help you. If you like the content, like, share, comment, subscribe for more, and follow my social medias in the description below. I'll see you guys next time. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus be with you.